truths will definitely stand the test of time. It doesn't matter what the oppressors try to do, even though the heaven is shaking, even though the heaven is falling, the truth must stand. Earlier in the day, we have come to know that the three justices who presided over the case of Mazen Nambikan are the IP courts who delivered this resounding judgment who squashed the 15 count charges of the terrorism that the Federal Republic of the Zoological then preferred against our leader, Mazen Namdekan, has been transferred from their various divisions. Uh, this, according to some newspaper who investigated it, revealed that the three appellate court justices were transferred four days after they delivered the judgment that discharged the embattled Mazen Namdekan, the IPOB leader. This is the current situation. Wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and lovers of freedom all over the globe. We welcome you back once again to our News Digest this day, the 23rd day of October 2022. And we must say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. This is what is going on in the Zoological Republic. The zoo believe that by transferring these three judges, that they will be able to institute other Fulani judges whom, or should I say justices, whom they will be able to influence with their money and ask them to swallow the truth. But like we say, truth always shines like lights. So we will continue, of course. The Zoological Republic must obey the court order first, even though they want to institute a different justices to oversee this case. You cannot go to a peer court and then a peer court render judgment. You refuse to obey it and you want to go back again. Of course, they have gone to Supreme Court. Whatever that happens, our people say that I could fetch out At the end of the day, by Lubala, the zoo must capitulate. That's the fact. We must continue doing our best. They transfer the judges after they have render their judgments. <laughs> uh, that sounds like something. Well, that's full of the people. That's how they reason. That situation of this, we will continue bringing you the updates. Let's go ahead to see what is going on today in the Zoological Republic. The United States government has warned that there is an elevated risk of terror attack in Nigeria. That is Zoological Republic, especially in Abuja, the nation's capital. The U.S. mission in Nigeria noted that as a result of that, that the United States Embassy will offer reduced service in the country until further notice. And when they say reducing, uh, and when they use the word reduced services, it means that their embassy in Abuja and some, maybe the one in Lagos, has been shut down. Forget about using a diplomatic word, reduced services. They have shut it down at the moment because they said. They have received an alert. This is what is going to happen. The zoo, the Fulanese, this is what they are planning. And look at the areas they are targeting. According to this security alert, or should I say, the int according to this intel by the United States um, uh, that was published earlier today, being October 23rd, 2022, the location that this is to be carried out is Abuja, the federal capital territory of the Zoological Republic. On the intelligence give a clear again of those uh, that might be affected and areas that people have to be careful about then if this is going to happen in the zoological republic in in abuja or possibly it will extend to lagos and kano where again is safe in the zoo and they say that there is an elevated risk of attack in zoological republic especially in abuja targets might include but are not limited to government buildings places of worship schools markets shopping malls hotels bars restaurants athletic gathering transport terminal law enforcement facilities law enforcement facilities and international organization the u.s embassy will offer reduced services until further notice action to take the profound action that could be taken well, avoid all non-essential travel or movement. Stay alert. Avoid crowd 
review your personal security plans and keep your cell phone charged in case of emergency carry proper identification well that is id card i don't know if there is id card in nigeria and this is what is going on and this is published by the u.s embassy in abuja the zoological republic recall that last week or there about or last two weeks australia had equally raised such alarm and warned their citizen to stop with immediate effect traveling to nigeria australian government said based on what they are seeing the information they have tracked the intels on their disposal that they are for warning australian citizens to stop at this point in time traveling making moves that will take them near to the zoological republic because there is fire on the mountain so you can understand the situation of things what is the zoological republic government federal government planning because they are the one the presidency they are the one drawing this map we know where they are heading to we know we know we know but then <laughs> it's for them because a lot of things are at stake now they don't know a lot of things are going on maybe with time they will come to know the exact situation why things are working out the way it is at uh, the zoo not only the zoo the world is in a total mess right now as a question of insecurity nobody knows what happens tomorrow and the zoo the fulani the presidency of the zoological republic whatever they are trying to do they have to bear in mind <laughs> no they don't understand well and that will bring us to this particular news what is at stake at this particular point in time in the area of united states versus russia what is exactly going on the u.s airborne division is currently practicing for a combat in other words you can call it war just three miles from the ukraine border <laughs> Some people say news flash, some say breaking news, some say the news of the moment. Why will US be approaching that border? I don't want to be using more of the names of these two countries because you know what I'm trying to avoid. But I will put it in a way you'll be under you understand it. US is really practicing at that border. What is the intention? Information has gathered that the last time the airborne division was deployed in Europe was during World War II. That was the last time this particular troop and their equipment were deployed in Europe by US. So what is the conclusion? Is US up against um, these guys? Are they up against them? So finally, this will show you that all these things that has been going on, uh, UK, calling African countries to come and help them, calling other American countries, South American countries, other European countries to come and help them. This is where it's leading. Now, U.S. has, they have taken up. They have deployed their own. So, um, let's see what happens tomorrow and next. Um, it seems we are up to face things. Um, the narrative to a different angle. Uh, this is what the world is going to experience. By putting that at the back of your mind, we want you to not forget what we Biafras are going through. What is happening in Biafra land? What is happening in the Zoological Republic? Because the issue that is taking place in Ukraine have made people... In fact, that is the way Britain wants it. They don't want the world to know what is going on in Biafra. What is going on in Nigeria? And that is why any little one that happened outside Africa, the way I publicize it. But the one in Biafra, the one in Africa, the one in the zoo, they will not publicize it. But whatever that's going to be, must be. That's that. And my question to US is, what are you doing at that border? What? Well, I think it's high time people know where to go. It's high time everyone put up his shoe. If you are hanging your clothes somewhere, go and take your clothes. If you are walking barefooted, go and wear your shoe. If you are climbing, maybe you do not come down. Because situation of things are about to turn, go south. 
So let's watch and see. We promise you, we will be updating you as regard to this. Tomorrow we tell you how things are working. But wherever you might be, wherever you might be, not only just in those locations, not only in the zoo alone, not only in Biafra land, wherever you might be across the globe, that is what we have to let you know. We thank you for listening. And we will always bring you the details of what is going on to keep you abreast of the current situation in the world right now. This is Tenik Bobby. And we must tell you, we must encourage you, if you like what we are doing here, I do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button. As for us, 100% we are Biafrans. And in Biafra land is where we have our citizenship. And until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. May you remain safe and blessed wherever you may be.